It is something that you rarely see on the campaign trail, a candidate moved to tears by a question from a voter. And this is what happened this weekend. That is what happened this weekend in Iowa when Democratic candidate Andrew Yang was speaking at a gun safety town hall in Des Moines. A woman stood up to tell her story and ask a question. And this is what happened. My beautiful four-year-old daughter, Dela was struck by a stray bullet March 2011. My son, my daughter's twin brother, witnessed what happened that day. She died two days later. Firearms are the second leading cause of death for children and teenagers in the US, but 4.6 million Amer American children live in homes with at least one gun that is loaded and unlocked and hundreds of them gain access to a gun and unintentionally shoot themselves or someone else every year. As president, how would you address unintentional shootings by children? Thank you for that. Can I give you a hug? Is that be appropriate? <laughs> sure. I have a six and three year old boy, that's imagining. <laughs> I was imagining it was one of them that got shot and the other saw it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> The, the biggest downside of running for president for me has been that I don't get to see my family very much. So I get pictures, I FaceTime, I see pictures of my boys and just that scene that she described, I'm sorry, it's like very, very affecting. It is for everyone. With me right now is the woman, the mother, who was right there, who stood up and who spoke to Andrew Yang, Stephanie Pizzaferrato. Thank you so much for being here, Stephanie. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your story. It is unbelievably heartbreaking. Your strength is unbelievable in being able to endure. Um, what did you, what did you think, uh, what did you think when you saw Andrew Yang um, react that way? Uh, of what happened? Well, in that moment, I appreciated that he was vulnerable and allowed himself as most parents don't want to think about their children dying, and he allowed himself to imagine stepping into my shoes for just that small moment. And, you know, I think that's a natural reaction to being empathetic, to feeling somebody else's pain. So I, I very much appreciated that he, he took that moment and, and shared that with everybody because it's important that you know, people understand that this is the reality that we live with as survivors every single day. That's our reality. And we need to start acknowledging that reality. What, what did you take away from that? What really became kind of a, a conversation um, with him? You wanted, obviously you wanted to tell your story, but what, what you heard from him, what did, you, what did you think of his answer? Well, to every single candidate that came, and that was one of the things that I stepped away with um, that particular day, is that every single candidate that came, the 16 candidates and the six candidates that sent videos all had bold plans for gun sense. And that's the most important thing I can say about that day, is that every single candidate stood up there and shared their bold plan. Um, and for that, I'm, I'm proud of every single candidate that did that. Um, they all stood there and listened to the survivors. I'm not the only survivor that stood there that day sharing their pain and, and their reality um, of this. And they, they stood there and they listened to every single one of our questions. And we appreciate that 
opportunity to share what it is we cope with every single day. This is my reality here. This is my daughter, Dela. This is what I sleep with beside my bed every single night. I don't get to tuck in my daughter. I don't get to send her to school today on the first day of school. It's important that people understand and know that this is real, it's not a fantasy. That is impactful, um, to say the least. Uh, I think that no matter the policy talk, we cannot let it overshadow your story is what you're saying. What do you want, yes. what do you want people to know about your story, about your daughter, Dela, about her twin brother? I want them to know that this is preventable. We can easily put in place gun sense legislation. It starts with background checks, red flag laws. People can get involved in this. You don't have to sit there. Thoughts and prayers are nice. Prayers are wonderful. And we appreciate those prayers. But if you're tired of prayers and you wanna show action, you can text rally to 64433 and this weekend we will rally. We want those senators to get back to work and we need them to pass these laws. We need to start saving lives. There are eight children a day that die because of gun violence. That's 100 people a day in this country. That's unacceptable. We can do better. We must do better and we can't just keep talking about it. We need to start doing something about it.